American public. This isn't George W. Bush. This isn't even Obama. This is the people's champion and world heavyweight champion, Venom. Coming here live out in the Hamptons in an undisclosed location with my beautiful home, beautiful friends, and uh, luxurious, exu luxurious space of all this yardage, all for my training needs, my capabilities, and the reason why I've been champion for nine years. Okay, cameraman. Come back, follow me. As, uh, we're gonna have a little candid interview. I don't know if you're actually able to hear that. We're gonna have a special candid interview over here. Be uh, point. We're gonna have two different areas where we're gonna have an interview. Uh, essentially, really, I'm gonna do all the talking. We don't have Barbara Walters interviewing me. Don't need her. So, if you want, you could stand there. You could sit. It's all good. As you can tell, champion over here, just about almost closing in at 10 years. And um, this, guy, this little guy right here, you might want to get him because he's going to almost be a champion too. He's going to be a champion. At some point, I might have to give you know him a title shot You know when I'm in my uh, 60s, of course. Uh, well, let's just say you know life has been good since uh, pretty much Crusher has been incarcerated and uh, had to basically strip him of the title, beat his behind, of course, from pillar to post. And as he rots away in prison, I reap the benefits that he should have had. You know, I started off in the tough neighborhoods of Brentwood, Long Island, New York, and uh, made a name for myself. Decided to overshadow Crusher. You know, when we were known as the uh, badass bandits, um, pretty much represented the WEF. And when they went out of business, essentially decided to cross over into the UWL. So the UWL was basically an organization where, you know, basically you know, underground wrestling league. They weren't a federation, they were a league. And pretty much, you know, at the time, it was needed for superstars such as myself and Crusher. So we had that going. Uh, for quite some time, dominated, dominated the People's Championship. He dominated the World Championship until I had to basically, uh, you know, put a, a beating on him and uh, putting uh, Rough Duck out of retirement, send him back to uh, North Carolina. Uh, Crusher, of course, retired. The uh, who knows what the the last retirement match was in 1999. I don't even know who he beat, but uh, all I know is Crusher now is retired and incarcerated for a very long time. Supposedly it should be out in a year, which will basically make my 10 years. Um, essentially, we'll continue down here. We're going to show my luxurious cars. We're in, um, you know how they have in MTV Cribs? We basically have UWL Cribs. This is a UWL uh, uh, exclusive. And uh, this is my uh, bodyguard over here. You know, he's, uh, you know, does special projects and stuff like that. tell the spacious area that we basically have over here. This is a great area to just unwind, you know, being the world heavyweight champion and the people's champion, of course. Get a, get a little bit sample of everything. Don't, this is definitely my head of security. As you can tell, we're about to find out, he definitely blocks all my cars. He, he protects my cars. There he is. Head of security. Or I should say, there she is, head of security. Hello there. You're doing, you're doing a good job. Doing a good job. Hey, okay. Doing a good job. I'll give you a beef jerky later. 
Anyways, as you can tell, the Infinity. Two of my, my prestigious cars here, as you can tell. And don't forget my Porsche, that's my baby right there. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is what champions produce. They produce an extravagant living, you know, exposure, cars, women, the works. You got it. You getting that, cameraman? Check it out. It's Porsche. It's a real deal. It's no joke. It's 100% love. As you can tell, look at that. Beautiful. Great. Can't go wrong with that. As you can tell, see? This is my infinity. This is basically outside of here, Lex Vega, aka Venom. You know, this is the Lex Vega mobile. This is basically the Venom mobile, as you can tell. My color is red, black. Lex Vega, the man, the myth, the legend, also it's a part, but the same. And uh, of course, go back, head of security. She's knowing her role. We're going to all be here on this side now. We're going to go check out the pool area. Don't miss out on any action, cameraman. I'm telling you. And we got some uh, people here ready to uh, make some good steak dinner. You know, keep the champ in line. Keep him pumped up. Ready for the great challenges ahead. You know, the opponents that I'm going to beat to a bloody pulp. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, I mean, we're going to go inside eventually. We're going to check out the area where... Looks like the steak is ready. That might be my cue to leave a little bit. But we are going to continue this interview in about five minutes, five, ten minutes. And we'll continue it in the executive uh, room. With that said, this is Venom Live, a UWL exclusive, coming live from Long Island, New York, Hamptons, baby, I'm out.